Hi, and welcome back to the ICA community. This video is part two, demonstrating how to request access as a new portal user. So in the last video, we showed you how to enter in a claim number, enter your party type information, provide documents to prove your identity, and submit the request to the ICA customer service area. So now we wanted to show you what happens once the customer service area approves your request. So once they review your, all your documentation and prove that you and validate that you are a interested party to that claim, they will approve your request and you will receive two emails. The first email will be an email stating that your request has been re reviewed and approved. So that tells you what claim number and their status is approved. As a new user to the portal, your second email is going to be from the claims community, welcoming you to the community and allowing you to set your password. It also provides you your username for the, for the portal. So this will be your username, and then you will follow this link in order to set your password. Once you have done that, you will be logged into the community. So I might as well follow through on that. Let's set my password. So if here it's asking for a password, it must be 10 characters, one letter, and one number. So I'm going to go ahead and enter that in. It kind of lets you know if it is a strong or a weak password. And I'm going to go ahead and select change password. Upon doing that, you are logged into the home page of the ICA community. From here, you can submit additional web forms based on your profile. So if you're an attorney, you will see these forms. If you are a claimant, I believe you'll see these same forms. If you're a carrier, you will see carrier-specific web forms. If you select View Workers' Compensation Claim File, you will see that there is a request out there that's been approved and the criteria met. So this was the request for the claim number that I did and the email that we got saying that we were approved. From here, we can go ahead and access the claims record. So I can go ahead and show details. So it'll give me the idea of the date of injury, any employer information, carrier information. I'll have the ability to click here to view the different interested parties that the ICA has on the claim. So here I have a claimant. If there are attorneys, carriers, employers, they will all be listed. And I can click to view the document. So by doing that, it's going out and getting a list of all the documents that have been submitted to the ICA for this claim. Once that comes back, this claim has a lot of documents, so it has 2,027 documents. And it provides you the document type and some of the filing dates of all of the documents within the claim record. From here, you can view documents one at a time by selecting View Document, or you can select multiple documents 